So in case you missed it, we just finalized and released our Darling Gift Boxes bundle and I have the items here in front of me. I'm gonna show them off for a second because I think they deserve a second look for those that missed it. Um, this is our rosy gift box. We uh, show you how to create this beautiful rose. It's actually all one little piece that you kind of twirl up and I show that whole process in the video. Great size for a little gift or even for yourself to store things in. Uh, and then of course we have the, the butterfly handbag. It's hinged, it opens up. We got a little Velcro dot on there to keep it nice and closed. Uh, pretty simple to put together actually. I've already seen many of these in the Dreaming Tree group already assembled. And finally, the fancy uh, little gift box. And you can see why it's fancy. We've taken our time and put some nice rhinestone banding on it. Some nice graphic 45 papers. Very easy to construct. Um, just done in little layers, little sections at a time to create this final outcome. So get that while it's free with purchase. But uh, to go along with this, since you may be using these boxes to um, give someone a gift, we also wanted to create and uh, give you guys a little greeting slash gift card holder. And that reminds me, the gift card is inside, but anyway, it does fit and we're gonna put it together. It's very simple actually. So this is the main card base. I've already taken and folded this. And what we're gonna do is, well, you know, since it is a simple piece, we are going to do a little bit of inking to it just to kind of jazz it up a little bit. Um, this is the little inside panel where you can put your little sentiment or a stamp. And we're going to hit this with a little bit of, uh, this is a nice pink ink. So I use these little felt applicators and typically I'll rub a little bit of that ink off because it tends to go on pretty heavy, especially if you've got a newer one. And I'm just going to hit the very edge and partially the surface with my little applicator just to get that little bit of ink on there to make this piece stand out a bit. And typically when I'm inking small items like this, this is what I'll do. And my suggestion is if you're trying to use this method, and it's your first time, grab a scrap piece of paper and just practice. Practice until you kind of figure out that stroke because it's, it's really just kind of a muscle memory sort of thing. Um, and I tend to just be very swift with it because I want it to just graze that nice texture of that AC cardstock and let that kind of come out. And it really adds a lot to the pieces. Okay, so we're gonna do that with this piece. And then I'm also gonna hit the little flower that goes on the front with some of the same color. We'll take a look at that. That looks pretty good. And then sometimes what I like to do is just kind of hit the edges so it doesn't look so square. So it's a little more rounded. And I may have hit the right side a little bit heavier and that's okay. If you feel like You've got more on one side than the other. You can always go back to the other side and give it a second coat, so to speak. And there we go. Okay, uh, let's see. We've got our flower here. I'm gonna do the same thing with the flower. And sometimes when you're trying to ink pieces like this, you have those little areas in between where it's kind of hard to get that same motion on it. Uh, but that's what's pretty cool about these little ink pads, these felt applicators, is that they're, well, they're malleable and you can fold them and kind of shape them however you need to and you can even kind of stick them in there uh, where some of the more stiff applicators are kind of hard to get in there. So that's another thing I like about this. But then again, when it comes to inking, you don't have to be so meticulous about it. Um, but you can be if you want, and that's the beauty. Okay, so there's my flower, pretty simple. And then we have this little caption here. Now we've included a blank one so that you can stamp whatever you want on it. Uh, now there's also in your extras folder, in the caption folder, we've included that caption for you should you decide that you want to use that. And I'm just gonna hit this with a little bit of rhubarb stalk, which is 
when applied to this color, it just kind of gives it a, a nice burnt look. It's actually a red, but it kind of works nicely. It gives it a bit of a distressed feel, almost like, almost like a, a coffee stained sort of feel, which is appropriate because we do have, and we're featuring some graphic 45 papers on this little freebie. And I feel like that is uh, kind of a common theme in a lot of their work is that, that rustic sort of vibe. Okay, and that looks about right. Again, you can go as heavy or as light as you want. And now kind of adding this will help it blend into the paper that we're affixing it to once we're all done. So again, so again, it's gonna be pretty simple. The inside is gonna feature this little piece here that we inked. So all we wanna do is just grab our glue and get our glue right on there. Go very light, it's a small piece. Overall, it's a very dainty little, little card. So we don't wanna overdo it on the glue. There's not that much surface area to adhere. All right, so we're gonna put this on the right-hand side. You wanna make sure that you line that up nicely so that you have a nice even border going all the way around. Kinda of like that. And just press that down into place. Okay. And um, this side here is where we're going to feature our little gift card holder, okay? So that is going to, and I actually, let me take, let me show you here. It comes out like this. You've got three tabs, two on the side, one on the bottom. You wanna fold those in and crease them, crease them nicely so that they're nice and flat so they're not fighting you. It'll be a lot easier to get it glued down if we're not fighting it, okay? And you want the gift card uh, slot, the actual opening to face towards the center here so that the gift card doesn't slide out. Okay, but we're gonna adhere it like this, basically gonna get it centered just like we did there with a nice even border. And to do that, I'm just gonna put some glue on these three tabs here. Just like that. And I am gonna make sure that that glue gets all the way out to the very edge so it looks nice and polished and clean and all together. Okay, and again, just get that nice and centered just like that. And I think that's pretty good. Just wanna inch it over a little bit and then just press down. Okay. Now, in the final photo, you'll see the actual gift card in there. I actually left it inside the house, so I'm not gonna stop my filming and go get it, but um, it will fit in there, okay? So there is that. And then on the front, we've got this piece here. Okay, there's little, little cutouts for some leaves there. So those are gonna to go towards the bottom. So let's get this in place. Just get some glue on it. Very simple project, especially if you're new to Dreaming Tree. Uh, definitely one that I would try. It'll get you accustomed to loading your files into your favorite cutting software and you know, doing something simple. Because I, as I always say, if you can make a freebie, you can pretty much make anything on the site. And I, I'm very confident in saying that because the process is the same. As long as you get all your pieces cut out and follow along with me, there's really nothing that you can't do from our site. Okay, so there we go. Pretty cute. We've got our little flower here. Now we're gonna glue this one down flat. We're not gonna do anything fancy with it, like train it or anything like that. But we did give it a little bit of an inking. Now take a look at this flower. You'll notice that there's a cutout here, one of the larger cutouts. I'm gonna match that up with that large cutout there because it is not a, um, a symmetrical design, okay? So just get that nice and centered there. There we go, we're gonna throw a little rhinestone there in the center when we're all said and done. And we'll just throw our caption down now. And our card is done, and of course, wouldn't be complete without a matching envelope, which we have for you. So we'll just throw that right on there. Just get it nice and centered. Make sure there's a nice even border there. Very simple. I'm, I'm really taking my time with this 
but you could totally whip this together in a few minutes. I have no doubt. And there we go, okay? A little gift card right in there, sentiment. Uh, you can write in there, a little stamp, whatever you wanna do. Um, and then actually, you know what, before we do that, let's talk about rhinestones here. And let me get my pick-me-up tool. And let me get some scrap paper here. So you now if you're if you're mailing this or even if you're gifting it, uh, it would be a good idea to even though these so you know they, these rhinestones they have sticky backings, but sometimes they don't even come off of the plastic. So with a pick me up tool or with your finger, you just kind of dab it in a little bit of glue, brush it off slightly so that it's not overly caked on there, and then you can just press that down. This tool also comes with. Uh, on the other side, it's got this little thing you can pop out and use to, I'll show you here how we do it. Let me grab another rhinestone here. Get that sticky back, not even staying on there. I don't even know why they do it. That's why sometimes you're better off not even buying the ones with the sticky backs because they, they don't really, they're not very reliable. And sometimes they're just more pain than they're worth. Okay, so again, I've got this other tool that I can use to hold the rhinestone down as I lift up the pick-me-up tool. So again, for those of you watching, they're like, ooh, what's that tool? It's called a pick-me-up tool by Silhouette. Okay, I use that all the time for small things. All right, so we're gonna do that one more time. We're gonna throw just another little rhinestone. Now, see, this one has the backing, but it's okay. Throw another little rhinestone here in the center of the flower. Just like that. Okay. And then I'm going to throw four more here around the perimeter, but uh, I don't need to show you that. So let's take a look at our envelope real quick. Put that together. And we've got, it's one piece, okay? And you've got two tabs only. Let me flatten these out a little bit more. This I cut with my Cricut Maker. We're using the score tool and that's nice. You do have to kind of flatten things out a little bit, and sometimes they're not as aligned as I would like, but it's better than nothing, I suppose. So let's get our glue on these two tabs. Work that glue out to the bottom here, right to the very edge of that tab. Okay. And then all you got to do is take this, fold it up. It should match up pretty seamlessly if you need to kind of nudge it over a little bit, you can do so. And then just press down on those tabs. Get that to adhere. And then close your flap, fold your flap over. We have this nice little accent piece. It's gonna go right there. We're just gonna center that nicely just to give it a little bit of color. Okay. So let's get our glue on that. And that will pretty much do it. Get yourself a stamp, a gift card, whatever it is you're gifting to whoever you're gifting it to. And you've got a nice little handmade way to give a gift. And there we go. And just press that down, make sure it's nice and centered. Okay, there we go. And voila. And that's it. And then this will go really nicely with one of our new little gift boxes. Um, what more could you ask for? You're not gonna find anything like this at a retail store, I can assure you that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please take a moment and hit that subscribe button on our YouTube channel. That lets me know that, well, you enjoy crafting with me and you enjoy the freebies. And if you make this or any of the items from our new bundle or actually anything from our catalog, we'd love to see it. So join us in the official group on Facebook by doing a search for Dreaming Tree Group, where you can join myself and the 14,000 plus other dreamers that inspire us daily. So thank you for hanging out with me, and I look forward to crafting with you again. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. for Twitter? Yep, we're there too. 
watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.